You know that about 30 plus states have uh, legalized medical marijuana or adult use. You're aware of that, correct? Yeah, yes. Uh, in uh, 2018, Attorney General Jeff Sessions rescinded the Cole Memorandum, which provided guidance to U.S. attorneys uh, that the federal marijuana prohibition should not be enforced in states that have legalized marijuana in one way or the other. Do you believe it was the right decision to rescind the Cole Memorandum? My, my approach to this would be not to uh, upset settled expectations and the reliance interests that have arisen as a result of the Cole Memoranda and, and investments have been made and uh, so there have been reliance on it. So I don't think it's appropriate to upset those interests. However, I think the current situation is, is untenable and really has to be addressed. It's almost like a backdoor nullification of federal law. To me, it's a binary choice. Either we have a federal law that applies to everybody. I'm sorry to interrupt you, sir, but how, how would you address that? Uh, well, do you think it's appropriate to use federal resources uh, uh, to target you know, marijuana businesses that are in compliance with state laws? No, I, I, that, yeah. I, that's what I, I said. I'm not, my, I'm not going to go after companies that have, have relied on the coal memoranda. Okay. However, we either should have one, a federal law that prohibits marijuana everywhere, which I would support myself, because uh, I think it's a mistake to back off on marijuana. However, if we want a federal approach, if we want states to have their own laws, then let's get there, and let's get there the right way.